Maplethorpe first took up the camera in the early 1970s. A friend loaned him a Polaroid, and this exhibition includes some really wonderful examples of those early Polaroids. You can see in those that he very early on discovered his key subjects, portraiture, floral still life, and the human body, the nude. Those were his three subjects throughout his career, and he always maintained that they were equal in his mind. This exhibition provides a perspective on the work of Robert Maplethorpe, not just his photography, but also his coming of age as an artist. And I like this gallery a lot because it includes early work that he made while he was an art student in the 1960s. The large work behind me is an altarpiece that Maplethorpe constructed. Before he took up photography, he was involved in making collages and assemblages using found material, scavenged material. Not very many of these pieces survived because he would disassemble them and then use the components for other things, or we know about them only through snapshots or documentary photographs. This is a rare example that somehow got saved, it was packed away in boxes. It's very rarely been shown, but we were able to reassemble it for this exhibition. Maplethorpe is most famous for work in three main areas, portraiture, floral still life, and figure studies um, that would include the nude and sex subjects. These are very traditional art historical subjects, but he really made them his own. And you can't mistake a work by Robert Maplethorpe for anybody else's, even in those common subjects. <laughs>